And this video is going to take you through some of the basic features of Microsoft Publisher. It's for use by a more confident technology user as it doesn't go into great detail on any of the features. From the new document page you can select a blank A4 portrait design or you can even look at the preset options that they have and even search for a particular page type and this may help you with some of the designs that you want to create. When you have your document open, in the bottom right here, you have options to zoom in and out of the page just by clicking the plus and minus. And you can even make the page show the whole page on the screen by clicking the bottom right icon there. If you click on page design and guides, you have some options to set some preset guidelines or you can create custom guidelines by clicking the grid and baseline guides there. And that allows you to create some columns so that when you come and insert a text box here and draw a box it will then enable you to easily create that box and be able to lay out your page accordingly. On insert we have options for pictures here so if you want to insert a picture click on that and you'll then be able to draw that on the screen. You can also insert some different types of shapes such as boxes, squares and lines wanted to insert, insert a line you can just click on the screen where you want it to start and click where you want it to end. I would highly recommend zooming in if you want to create a perfectly straight line. Once you've created a line or a shape you have drawing tools and that allow you to either fill the shape or even change the width of the outline in the shape so you can make it thicker or thinner and change any colours as well. With the text boxes selected, you get additional tools for that also. You can format the text box, create additional columns within a text box, and also add shape fill. So if you wanted to give it a background colour or a shape outline, you can do that very easily with these tools. If I zoom in, you can see that a little bit better there. If you have some text in the box that you wish to add to it or format, you can do that by typing in some text, highlighting the text and using the home option, you have these font features here. And you can increase the size of it or change the size of the text and also change the font. And font colour also and even the bold or the italics of that font. If you copy and paste text into one of your text boxes like I've done here, you'll see that you'll get these little three dots and that indicates that the text you've pasted is going beyond the boundaries of the text box as in it doesn't fit into it. If you have another text box that you want this to text to flow into, you can just click on those three dots and then you'll get a little jug icon and you'll be able to pour the rest of the text into there. These are now linked, so if I add any additional text into one of the areas, it'll flow through to the other text box. And you can link multiple text boxes throughout your document. If you wish to insert a drop cap into a text box, click it with your cursor into the text box, and you then can then go to the text box format option and click drop cap. There's some preset options or you can customise the drop cap how you wish and change the font and the colour of that as well if you if you like and select how many lines it goes over click apply and OK and you'll see that your drop cap has been inserted if you are adding a picture and you're adding it within a text box if I select an option there and insert this picture you'll see that the text automatically wraps around it so if I increase the size of that image to the width of the box, you'll notice that the text stays top and bottom to the image. And so if I move it around, the text will automatically flow around it. If you wish to add an additional page, you can right click into this area here and insert blank page. Right clicking on any of these pages also allows you to change the order of them by dragging them up and down and also to delete them if you wish. And that's just some of the basic features that you should need if you are using Publisher.